Hello everyone. Welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss how to write a unit test case for attribute binding. Before proceeding with this video, I recommend you please watch part 23 and 24 where we have discussed how to write a unit test case for property binding, ng style and ng class. So let's see how write a unit test case for the attribute binding. So if you want to know more about the attribute binding or property binding or any type of the binding, you can go to my Angular uh, tutorials video where we have discussed and briefly how we do all kind of the binding in Angular. So let's see, go to the Visual Studio. So now what I have done, I created a one table and the table was, uh, basically contain like the first name, last name and the page header. And if you will see on the browser, this look like this one. So it contain like the student information and first name, last name, branch, mobile, gender and age. And here you can see it will look like this. So now here what I have done for this header, I have given the call span. So if you will go here, so here I have given call span 2. And, but here we can see like call span is basically I have given as a static. What if I make it as a dynamic means I what I have done basically like I created one property here so using the interpolation I want to load it so what if I will do in that way so using the interpolation if I will copy and I will put it here and then let's save it and see on the browser so once I'll go on the browser and we can see like it is not giving the call span it is coming in one column if I will go to the inspect element and if we see the like what error it will give so let's go to the inspect element and if i will go on the error so what basically it will say it will say like it is not a non property and uh, like basically this uh, interpolation is not in non property that's why it is not coming in into the call span so now let's go to the visual studio and here what if I make it as a property binding? So if I will make it as a property binding, so here like basically you can see this uh, like before for the interpolation when we were doing it, it is giving the error here and what it is saying basically like it is not in non property. So if you will go here, so let's go here and what it says, it says like it is not in can't bind the call span since it's not in non property. So that's why it was giving this error now what if i will make it as a property binding so for property binding first we have to make as a square bracket and then we have to remove the interpolation and now let's save it so once we will save this uh, like like this once we will save it we will see like we we are uh, looking the same issue like it is saying like it is not in non property so basically this call span is not in property in the uh, table basically this call span is a attribute so we have to access it using the attribute and for like how we implement the attribute binding in angular so what we have to do we have to use the a double t t r and then what we have to do basically we, like a double t r dot and then we have to give this um, like the call span and then whatever the like dynamic uh, variable we are we are having we have to use it and then if we will go on the browser now we can see it is coming as a properly as the call span so this is the way we implement the attribute binding now how we write a unit test case for the same so for writing the unit test case first what we have to do we have to give the id so what i am going to give call id so i am giving the uh, id name as a call id now let's go here and write the unit test case so for writing unit test case like first what we have to do we have to uh, give the unit test case name so table call span attribute test case and then we have to right so for uh, writing the unit test case here first what we have to do we have to access the uh, like the that particular 
column so for that what we use we use the debug element so let's write const element element and then we use the like first we have to define it so what it is basically html table element because we are checking for the html table element and then we have to use fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector and inside this one what we have to do with the prefix hash we have to give the id so let's copy that id so we don't make any mistake so let's put it and put the semicolon and now uh, like now we have initialized our element now what we have to do we have to use the expect and inside this one what we have to do we have to use the element dot get attribute and inside this one what we have to do we have to use the row span so we, uh, so we, here we are using the column span so call span so inside this one we have to use it and then we have to check dot to equal so now what we have to do component dot call span so that we have to use it now here if you will go it will giving a compilation error and what it is saying it's basically a number and it is written as a string so what we have to do we have to use it as a to string and now let's run our uh, test case so for that one we have to use the ng test so let's write ng test so now we can see like our test case is passing and if we will go on the browser and if we see here we can see like it is giving as expected like our test case is passing as expected so this is the way we implement the unit test case for the attribute binding like here using the attribute first like for which attribute we are going to write the test case that we have to write it and then we have to check it and obviously with the id we have to get the dom element so that we have done and similar to that one we can do for the button like for an example i created a button here and like here i am going to give this button name as a save and this button name i have given here now like this area label is also a basically a uh, attribute it's not a property so that's why it is an attribute that's why we, what, how we are accessing it so a double t r dot area label and then we have given the dynamic area label and that we have defined in, in the component side and that is area label new area label so now for writing the unit test case for same so first what we have to do we have to give an id here so for assigning an id what i am going to give button id i am giving here now for writing a unit test case what i am going to do i am going to copy it and i am going to paste it here and here what i am giving button and for accessing it like first what i have to do i have to copy the id and i have to paste it here and obviously it's not an uh, html table element so we have to change this as well so basically it's an button element so let's make html button element now here what we have to do like we, now we have uh, get the element now here get attribute what we have to give so this is the area label so let's copy it and paste it here and now what we have to check we have to check is like so dot area label now let's save it and it is disconnected so let's reload this one and see like what output it give so now we can see on the browser our two test case is passing and even if we see here we can see here two test case is passing so this is the way we write the unit test case for the attribute 
like first like how we get implement the attribute in the html set so using the awtr dot and whatever the attribute is there we have to give and then in the unit test case set what we have to do first we have to get that particular dom element by id and then we have to check the attribute so this is the way of implementing the attribute um, binding unit test case in angular so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you